When you're at home, do you have a favorite toy? No. Do you have a favorite toy? Okay. Your tablet. Yes. Oh, ladies, we have to wait for the ladies to come. Have a seat. Ned, have a seat. So, um, what, what kind? The guitar. You got a guitar? Oh, it's your favorite? You play with that most of the time? Anybody else? Any favorite thing that you do? He's got a tablet. He's got a guitar. What do you do? You like to sing. So your voice is sort of like a, um, a great toy or something you like to do. Yes. Rachel, anything you like to do? <clears throat> okay. You know, there are so those things that are really dear to us, that are very important to us. And sometimes we might be asked, what are you going to do with that thing that, that really, you, you really like? It turns out that Mary and Joseph, you know, they had somebody who was really dear to them. Who was that? Jesus, exactly. That's always a good answer. So Jesus was very, very dear to them. And they were told that when Jesus became a certain age, that they would give him back to the Lord. It's like asking for God's blessing on something that's very, very important to you. So, maybe one day you might think about it. About saying that you know something, there's something that's very dear to me. I'm willing to give it back to God. And then when it comes back, it's something that you can use for others. That's what happened with Mary and Joseph. They gave their child, as it were, back to God. And then they received him back. And then he became a blessing, not only to them. But he became a blessing to many other people. So, let's decide that we're going to do the first. Let's pray. Father, we ask um, that you would always make us mindful that whatever gifts that we have, they come from you. And we give them back to you. In Jesus' name.